Look at that score. 110 to 42. How could anything special happen in the last 30 seconds of a 68 point blowout? Now, look at these guys. Clearly something very special did happen. Squared up my feet. That's it. There are moments in ACC history, championships, individual feats of greatness that epitomize what it means to be awesome. And then there are those moments that aren't nearly as important, but they are sometimes better than awesome. Starting with Miles in 2008, the name Plumlee has caromed around Cameron Indoor for nearly a decade. Next came Mason, and now Marshall. The brothers from Indiana are your classic big men. The box scores reveal the role they play, points in the paint and tough rebounds. And wait, 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 what's that? Miles had a three-pointer, March 3rd, 2010 at Maryland. Hmm, so what about Mason? That same season, he had two. Okay, what about Marshall? Freshman year, no. Sophomore, no. Junior year, yes, check it out. One for one. Hitting a three in Cameron is way better than hitting a dunk, so uh, man, I wish I could shoot threes. November 14th, 2014, the season opener versus Presbyterian. The nation is watching because of Duke's highly touted freshman class. Jaleel Okafor, Tyus Jones, and Justice Winslow making their college basketball debuts, and they each scored at least 15 points. It was a total blowout. The freshmen stopped playing. The nation stopped watching. Duke was up by 68 points, 110 to 42, with 30 seconds left. And the shot clock was winding down, and well, Marshall won't ever forget every detail. Sean Kelly drove baseline into no man's land and looked for a, a beacon of hope, and there I was at the three-point line, no one around me. There were enough seconds left on the clock, I could have passed it, but I didn't. It's actually perfect. There's symmetry to a Plumlee three-pointer. Marshall is 6'11", Mason is 6'10", Miles is 7' even. Put them head to toe, they're 20 feet 9 inches, the exact distance of a three-pointer. Plumleys were made for threes. Marshall needs the green light. Uh, don't tell that to Coach K. He has the green light for rebounding all the time. He, uh, that, taking charges, talking on defense. Uh, other than that, uh, his light is a red light. Remember, we're talking about Coach K-level expectations here. Duke's J.J. Redick has the ACC record for career three-pointers. And there was Trajan Langdon. His nickname was the Alaskan Assassin because he was such a deadly marksman from long distance. The list goes on. So no, this one for one in the box score is not going to be a big deal to the winningest coach in college basketball history. Five months later, they were national champs. For Kay, what matters is cutting down nets in April, not a statistical anomaly in November. The coaches, uh, they played it off like nothing happened. You know, they're very serious, eye on the prize, but I'll never forget it. Marshall's favorite part, and what makes his moment truly better than awesome, is what happened next. What's better than me hitting the shot was my teammates' reaction. That's just fun. When you see, uh, when your teammates do something cool like that, uh, I'm happy that my teammates were happy for me. The combination of a Marshall Plumley three and his teammates' reaction was so much better than awesome that Duke made a video of it using R. Kelly's I Believe I Can Fly. I believe I can fly. Woo. I believe I Time out. I love watching that video, but actually we're not allowed to play more of the song because of copyright rules. So let's just watch it without the music. See, it's still great. Look at the bench. They're falling over each other. When I asked Coach K specifically about Marshall's three and the team's reaction, he smiled exactly like my dad does sometimes, and sure enough, Kay used a parenting analogy. Well, when Marshall had his moment, it's one of those things like when your kids grow up that they think it's really cool, and then you spend the rest of your life trying to forget it. Okay, so measuring this against a thousand wins and five national titles, it might not have been awesome. My play wasn't important at all, but man, it was, gotta play some ball. It was better than awesome.